Hello, everybody. Thank you for joining me. I'm Ari, your screencast host for today. And I want to thank you for taking time out of your schedule to learn a little bit more about Templator. And in this screencast, what we're going to do is learn about a concept called layer stretching. And it comes with the time sculpting feature that's shipping now with Templator's latest release. OK, so let's get started. We're going to dive in to understand how it's useful and how you actually go about stretching your layers automatically as footage sources swap out in your iterations. Now, here are the rules for layer stretching. So the first one is stretch to endpoint. And what this means is that the layer will stretch until its out point meets the in point of a target layer. So in this example, we can see comp one stretching until its out point meets the in point of the footage layer. Similarly, we have stretch to out point. And what this means is a layer will stretch until it reaches the out point of a target layer. So in this example, you can see comp one is stretching until its out point meets the out point of the footage layer. Finally, we also have stretch to end of comp. And what this means is that a layer will stretch until its out point reaches the end of its containing composition. Okay, so here's the template that we're gonna be working with in this exercise. And let's take a look at shot one and shot two here. So we can see here shot one is quite long. The duration is quite long, but shot two is very short. And furthermore, you can see that shot one, because of its length, is filling up this gap here between these two slates really nicely, right? We can see the video fully, and then it gets trimmed at this point so it doesn't cover up shot two. Okay, so let's go over to shot two. And here we see this, this is beautiful, Paper Mario, it's very fun. And then after it's over, we see this blank space, and this is a problem right here. So what we wanna do is because this layer does not fit into this gap here between these slates, what we're gonna do is stretch the layer to match a certain position in the timeline. So for example, I have this stretch column here, and if it's not here in your composition, just right click up here and you'll see columns and then do stretch right here and you'll see this value, okay? Now what I'm gonna show you is if you click and drag here, you can see that the layer is being stretched. And what that means is that the playback rate for the layer is changing. Now, if we look at this, we can see that the layer covers the entire gap as a result of this stretch parameter. So you can tell Templator to stretch a layer to a target. And this is useful insofar as you might have a layer that's just not right in terms of its length and you need to stretch it just a tiny bit. I don't recommend using stretch when you have vastly different durations of footage sources. I do recommend stretch though, if you just need to compensate a little bit. Keep that in mind because the visual playback of the clip changes as well. It can either be slower or faster, depending on you know, where it stretches to. So let's take a look. I'm gonna go ahead and undo that stretch. So we have that gap here. And what I'm gonna do is I'm going to go into the templator settings effect of shot two, okay? And you can see here that I've got this stretch group of controls here. And what we're gonna do is we're gonna say stretch target, we're gonna set it to slate three, which is this. And then what we're gonna do is we're gonna stretch to the endpoint of slate three. So now this layer, which is two seconds long, will be stretched exactly to this point in the timeline. So before I invalidate any footage sources, let's just go ahead and use current state. And what this is going to do is not get any of the new data. It's not going to swap out any footage sources, but it's just going to show you how Templator's logic works in the timeline devoid of any new data. So I'm going to hit preview and you should see this layer hit up to here and you should see this stretch parameter adjust. So hit preview and sure enough, there you go. So to get from, for to get the two seconds clip to fill up this whole gap, we had to have at least 185.4 stretch factor. Okay. Now um, we can see here, it's still a problem because we see the black here in this wipe. And what we want to do is make sure that it's filling up that area as well. So what we're going to do is we're going to take this and we're going to take the layer, go to its controls, and we're just going to have an overlap of 15 frames. And what you're going to see is again, this stretch parameter is going to change and this will increase just by a little bit. We hit preview. And there you go. So it stretches to this point, but then there's a 15 frame compensation. So now the playback rate is 210%. So let's take a look at what that actually looks like. Go here 
hit zero. Let's let it build. So you can see here how it's kind of choppy because we've increased the stretch factor to 212%. So this works great for updating clips where the sources aren't so vastly different. For example, going from three seconds to three and a half seconds or three seconds to even four seconds. So just keep that in mind because if you go from something like one second to 10 seconds, you're gonna get unexpected results. Now for shot one, we're gonna do something similar. So we're gonna go to the templator settings effects controls and we're gonna make sure that preserve end is checked. And after we do that, we wanna be sure that the stretch target is slate two. So we're gonna to go to shot one's controls and we're gonna target the slate two layer and we're gonna to stretch to its endpoint and we'll keep the stretch overlap at 15 frames. Okay, great. Let's preview what these parameters do. We'll click here and you can see that it's hitting this, but then there's a 15 frame compensation here. So this is useful when source footage durations are unknown but you want to ensure that a layer fits and fills a predetermined segment of the composition. So note here that this is at 31.9. So because shot one was actually longer than this gap, it actually has to stretch down instead of up. So it's less than 100%, which means that the actual playback rate is going to be faster. So let's take a look, hit zero to build it. You can see how Mario is just going nuts here. He got his star. Okay, so that's obviously not the normal playback. It's 31.9% of the normal playback. And you can see that it speeds up. So regardless of you know how long the footage sources are, we are guaranteed that this and this will always be in the same position and the same length. The cost is the playback rate. And let's take a look. So if I go to next row and hit preview, there you go. Different, different clips, different parameters here for shot one and shot two. Hit preview again. Here we go, 95, 53, one. And they fit in the same exact spot. So sometimes when you're building your template and you don't know what duration your footage is, you stretch to compensate for any gaps or overruns in terms of the duration of that layer. Now there's one more feature that's useful and that is to stretch to the end of a composition. In some cases, you just want a layer to stretch to the very end of a comp. So you can select a layer, and then you can say stretch to end of comp here. And then if we hit preview, what's gonna happen is this guy is gonna stretch all the way to the end of the composition. So you can do the same thing for this one, for example. So instead of end point, I'm gonna do end of comp. And there you go. So now you have two stretch layers. This one obviously is 729 percent of the original is not ideal so we're going to undo that and let's do next row again there we go all right that is layer stretching in a nutshell i hope you enjoy it and please send in your questions or visit our forums and we'll be happy to answer any questions you have thanks so much don't forget to click to subscribe to our channel so you can learn the latest techniques for automating your video production process. I'm Ari Stapchansky, signing off. Thanks again.